hello hello and welcome everyone today i will be showing you how to put together this beautiful base for your center pieces uh, the things that you need in order to create this it's you need the file and the file you could find it at creations by gavi and jay on my etsy shop and then you would only need three in one glue that's all you need so let's get started so this is how your file will come you will have two rings just like this ones you will need your base um just like this one and then you're gonna have four walls you're gonna have four walls if you notice two of the walls have the little triangle right there on the side and then the other two walls have a little square well you're gonna glue the two squares together and then the two triangles together so let's start with the squares and i'm gonna go ahead and bend it right here and use my beacon glue to start gluing our wall Okay, once you glue that one, you're going to put it aside and go ahead and start with your triangle walls. Okay, put that aside and now let's go with the triangle. And I do the same step, glue the walls together. Now that you have glued this part together, you're going to start bending whatever you see your cut lines. Those little cut lines are these score lines, but they are made in little cuts, so it could be easier to fold. So you're going to start folding them just like that. Start folding, folding. Go to your other side and do the same thing. Fold all the little cuts that you have there from both sides okay you notice that there's also cuts in the middle you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna start folding them everything that you see the score line meaning a folding line you're gonna start folding it together so that one's all done check that you did not no nothing came off no. and from the other side it's also good okay now put that aside and go and do the same thing that you did with this one with your very first um walls notice the one part one wall is bigger than the other one the one with the square it's bigger than the one with the triangle so we're going to start working with the one with the square that's going to be our first wall to work so now that you've done that you're going to grab one of the rings and you're going to glue it to your tabs right here it could it doesn't matter if you do it to this side to that side don't matter you just have to make sure that you glue them evenly and what I mean by evenly is this side is the exact size as this one so you have to make sure that when you glue in it you glue it precise like that so let me start gluing it and you'll see a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue here So let's go right ahead and start 
gluing a ring. I call these rings to my wall. Right there. So this opening here allows you to put your hand in and press it. And for you to continue putting glue on the other tabs, try to do two at a time so you could have enough pressure on them so they don't come apart. And now I'm going to glue that one and the other one. Continue to press, glue it, perfect, go up to the next step. Now you're going to flip this to the side just like that and now you're going to bring in your smaller piece inside this. You're going to leave that right there. You're going to flip it back and you're going to start gluing this piece to this side right here. You're going to start gluing it. I'm gonna start putting my glue on the tabs and I'm gonna start gluing this. Same thing, they all match perfectly in sides. So you gotta go right ahead and glue it. Just like that. Up, you're gonna flip it and kind of put pressure there so it could hold together. Okay. So while that stays right there. Now you're going to grab the second ring and you're gonna do the same step that you did with the, with the bottom one. You're gonna glue this ring right here. To the outer piece, not to the inside. We're gonna glue it to the outer piece, just like we did on the first step. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to repeat the same thing that we did on the bottom, that then we glue these pieces out. It's going to be the same thing right here. These pieces, you're going to fold them out. These pieces, I'm sorry, these tabs. We're going to fold them out and glue them to that part of the ring. Okay, so that's going to be glue there.
And now I'm gonna start putting glue all around it so I could glue the final base. And here we're gonna put our final base right there. So now you might be asking yourself, Gabby, why do you have the hole in the middle um, of the base? So <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, you might not know what I use for my centerpieces. So I will share that with you here today of what I use for my centerpieces. So for my centerpieces, I use Dollar Tree paper towel holders. It's just like you see it. It's a normal Dollar Tree paper towel holder that I snap right into the base, just like this. And we put it right there. So that's gonna give an extra level to your centerpiece and it's also going to cover your base. So it goes just like that. So I hope you find this tutorial uh, helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and visit my Etsy shop so you can see more files like this one. Bye.